Here's another installment in the top five things we hate series since I thought about five more things that we hate. But anyway, let's get into it. Number 12. This one happens to me a lot when I'm playing, you know, solo. But anyway, it's loading into a game and forgetting a trooper loadout or challenge that you wanted to do. It just completely slips your mind to change your loadout. Then you just go into a map and you're just like, oh, sh or maybe it's the other most common one and that's just forgetting to claim the challenge that you have done probably one to two games ago you just keep forgetting to you know go to the quest page and then to claim it now obviously this is not for necessarily everyone but this just happens to me so often since i am usually just staring at the inventory or loadouts and i'm usually just like oh maybe i should try a different loadout and i just completely forget that i already completed a challenge and I'm supposed to claim it now specifically this isn't really that big of a deal if you don't really have any quests that give you more coins or gems for whatever reason if you're doing those and the rewards are just pretty terrible and that's gonna be something we're gonna be talking about much 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 later on but either way whenever this happens to me I'm just like god damn it I have two options I can either dip out and just go back to the lobby real quick and just do it real quick and just claim it or just to fix out my my loadout or I could just stick it through and get some more coins and then go do the entire loadout or new challenges thing this is still honestly kind of a little bit of a tedious factor since you have to leave the game join back and then wait like 30 seconds while your PC is literally struggling in order to get inside the lobby and then just to do whatever you're supposed to do. Number 16. Into the number four spot is the missions. So we all know how some of these are just quite literally just like, what the fuck? But anyway, what I'm gonna be talking about this time is who the hell is even doing mission quests nowadays? And secondly, if you try to do a mission quest with randoms on and nowadays, it's pretty much insanely difficult or just straight up impossible to find any lobbies whatsoever where you can be like, hey guys, you wanna um, help me out real quick and go play on this one specific map with like very specific game mode with some specific towers or a specific strat that I need in order to do to, well, Get this challenge over with now when missions came out this wasn't a bad thing at all because pretty much everyone was doing this however it's been months since that update so basically everyone else has either completed their missions or just don't don't care or just already have those skins However, if you are doing missions nowadays, I recommend you to just, I don't know, probably just load up with a bunch of random people, ask them if they can help you out, and if they don't, then, well, just go into, like, a populated lobby game or in a server, and in the lobby, just ask people ABC to help me in, I don't know, the crook boss challenge map quite honestly these mission quests are not that bad however i believe the most like batshit crazy out of all of them is completing hardcore on that one city map to unlock this commander skin which i have no idea what any of the other levels are for that commander skin but i don't care at this point since i am just rolling out with the vigilante commander number seven when you're playing Polluted Wasteland or Badlands and you look at your teammates and they have just completely dog shit towers. Now I know, I know, most of the times people playing these game modes are usually people who have just never beaten it and don't really have that many good things. However, one of the things that you do expect are people to actually have, you know, the accelerator in Polluted Wasteland. As we all know, Polluted Wasteland is one of the like two most difficult game modes, well, in the entire game, next to like hard or if you can just so you expect people to either have an accelerator or the engineer or maybe even the turret or mini gunners in order to have a chance to beat this polluted wasteland game mode however this becomes even more crucial when you are playing for an example badlands and for whatever reason i feel like it's just more common for people to not have accelerators or anything good at all in badlands and it seems like whenever I play, I always find people who either don't have the cowboy or even the warden itself and just have the most randomest loadouts I've ever seen. And well, you are given, well, two options. Number one, you can either just stick it through and obviously get the L from the other bosses. And well, you will just get the partial gold amounts that you should have gotten. 
or you could just disconnect and just dip out. This scene is quite reasonable since, well, like, these people don't really have that much good stuff, so it's pretty much a lost cause. However, you are ruining the entire experience altogether, so really it's just a L for both sides. Number 9. This one is a game mechanic issue, and this is when the final boss spams the put. Now, as we all know, many bosses, or final bosses you could say, have many different abilities. Now, as you progress through the games, or at least the game modes, you will fight many more stronger and more powerful bosses that have even more abilities. Like the Molten Who now has a fireball, but still, you know, the footstop ability and spawning enemies. Then there's the Fallen King who can, well, spawn enemies, have a lightning sword ability that calls on a lightning strike somehow. And then finally, there is the footstop ability, and obviously, depending how much more stronger and much more of a beefier boss they are, the bigger the radius of that footstop will essentially travel. And this is insanely tedious and just, well, frustrating when it is compared to, like, for an example, the three game mode bosses, like, for an example, the gunslinger, polluted monster, and then the goddamn furry. And then the worst of them all is the hardcore boss, the Void Reaver, since he is so insanely massive that him stomping the ground literally stuns the entire map. No matter what map it is, he will stomp, or oh, at least stomp, he will literally temporarily stun every single tower unless they're a flying tower or I don't know a cliffhanger tower and well let's just say you better hope they don't just spam that only ability because whatever map you're playing it can literally fuck everything over I remember my tedious times in hardcore and Jesus Christ I still get Vietnam flashbacks number one check this out At the number one spot, it's pretty obvious now that you're looking at this screen, but this is the shitty quest rewards. So I already talked about this, at least partially, in the other previous installments, but I just have to reiterate just how fucking terrible most of these quests are, and especially the fact that I'm mainly going to be referring to the weekly ones, because unlike the quests that just well, pretty much change in and just come in every single day so you can just do these useless quests that barely give you any rewards at this point, but also these weekly ones. Now, these weekly ones obviously give you a much heftier reward, such as, well, a skin crate, some gold, and some XP. However, the nice thing is that sometimes you will be able to get a deluxe oh crate goodness. or a phantom oh crate or even a high tier crate. I actually got that twice, so I guess that's nice. But I didn't get anything good, so yeah, high tier is pretty dark. But anyway, yeah, if you don't really get a good weekly reward, I guess skin crate, and what I'm referring to is usually like the premium one, if you have everything there, which I mean is impossible not to, since like you can get these bad boys for free by either doing weekly or just well quests then it's literally like getting almost nearly nothing and yes you can get other skin crates like for an example the vigilante it can be nice especially if you don't have those skin crates but i gotta be honest we all all of us mostly prefer us getting a deluxe or a phantom crate and if you don't get those you literally have to wait an entire week which can feel like an eternity nowadays and well let's just say that you better be lucky for this next week 